next on the Gospel Bill Show. Gospel Bill, Gospel Bill, wait. Did you say the dueling gang? Well, yeah, that's right. They're down in Dripping Springs County. Gospel Bill, why do you want to go down to Dripping Springs? That's out of your jurisdiction. Now, listen, the sheriff's in trouble down there, and I'm going to help him out. You can't quit. Didn't you give him your word? Yeah, but this job's more than I thought it was. It's really hard work. Oh, I can't go fishing, no. I hear they're biting. Really? Yeah, real big ones. Oh, no, the biggies are biting. It's the Gospel Bill Show, featuring Gospel Bill, Nicodemus, Mark Amayas, Miss Lana, T.U. Tuckwater, and the entire Dry Gulch Gang. Oh, gosh, Bill, why? Why, why, why? Why did I promise him? Why did I do that? What are you talking about? Oh, gosh, Bill, you know Nicodemus went home to see his mom for a week? Yeah, that's right. Well, I promised him while he was gone that I would take his job down at the livery stable and do it for him. Well, that's just real nice of you, Barker Mance. That's real thoughtful. No, it's not, gosh, Bill. I'm going to quit. I'm not going to do it. Now, wait just a minute. Now... If you gave Nicodemus your word, you need to keep your promise. No, I can't do it, Gosh Bill. It's too hot. You know, with this hot summer heat out there, it's about 100 or better, and I'm just melting in the heat. I can't do it, Gosh Bill. I can't. Now, listen here. Nicodemus is counting on you. He would never have gone on vacation if he'd known that his job wouldn't be covered. Why, you got to stick in there and do it for him, Barker Mess. Oh. He's depending on you. Gosh Bill, when he comes back, I'll tell him why I couldn't do it, and he'll understand. I'm sure he will. It's just too hot. Barker Mance, I think you need to reconsider. Now listen, I gotta run over to the general store and get off a telegram. You think about that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I won't do it! I just won't do it! <laughs> Ms. Lana? Well, hi, Sheriff. May I help you? Yeah, I need to get a wire off right away. Sure thing. Who's it to? Sheriff Behan, Dripping Springs County. Dear Sheriff, Stage driver saw Doolin Gang near Shadow Box Canyon. Please advise if my help is needed. Signed, Sheriff Gospel Bill, Dragos County. I'll get it out for you right now, Sheriff. All right, I'll be back in a little bit for the answer. Ugh. Oh, oh, this is just too much work. It's too hot out here. This is more than what I bargained for. Oh. Bill, is it hot? Well, Barker Mass, it looks like you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. Dr. Bill, come over here. Just come over here right now. I want to ask you something. Come stay right here. Stay right there. Now, what do you got up your sleeve? No, stay right there. No, now, isn't it 10 degrees hotter right here than it is over there in the street? 10 degrees. That's just your imagination. No, it's not. All this hay absorbs all this heat, and it's just too hot in here, Dr. Bill. It's too hot. I can't do this work. It's just too hot. Now, listen here, Barker Mass. That's just an excuse for for not doing the job. Now listen, you and Nicodemus are friends, right? Right. And he's out of town this week visiting his mother, fully expecting you to see after all of his business, right? Right. And when he gets back, he will expect to see this job done, right? Right. So you're going to keep your word and do what you promised you'd do, right? Wrong, Gossel Bill. It's too hot. I can't do it. I don't want to do it. It's too hot, Gossel Bill. I'm disappointed in you, Barker Bill. Gossel Bill, it's too hot. It's too hot, Gossel Bill. I'm not going to do it, Gossel Bill. It's too hot. I'm not going to do it. The Gospel Bill Show continues after this. Have you ever seen a horse with striped pajamas? Well, here's an animal who looks much like a horse with striped pajamas. It's a zebra. Although zebras are not exactly like horses, they are members of the horse family. Zebras have hooves, legs, and bodies much like that of a horse. A zebra's neck is somewhat shorter than a horse's neck, and his tail is like the tail of a donkey. Have you ever wondered about a zebra's stripes? Is he really black with white stripes, or is he white with black stripes? 
If you look closely, you will see that the zebra has no stripes on the insides of his legs or on the underside of his belly. These areas are white, so the zebra is really white with black stripes. Wow! You learn something every day. <laughs> Zebras are hard to domesticate. That means that they are difficult to train. Although their bodies are much like horses, their personalities are much different. Although all zebras have stripes, no two zebras are exactly alike. Each set of stripes is different. You see, each zebra is a special creation of God. You too are a special creation of God. There is no one else in all the world who is exactly like you. Even your fingerprints are different. No two people are exactly alike. That's one of the reasons God loves you. There's no one else on earth to fill your shoes. No one else can ever be you. You're the only you that will ever be. That's why it's important to be yourself. Don't wish that you were someone else. Be you. God made you special. So give your life to Him and let Him help you find the reason that you're here. Learn a lesson from the zebra. Each is a unique and special creation from God. Be comfortable in who you are. Why? Why did I promise him? I just can't believe I did it. This old man, I can't believe I did it. Oh, oh, me. Is it hot? Burger yeah. Mance, what's oh. the matter with you? Oh, Miss Letter, I need some of your ice cold lemonade right now, right now. And Miss Letter, you know, I've been working out there in that hot sun, and it must be 110 degrees. It's 88. Miss Letter, where do you keep your thermometer? In the ice box? Right out there on the side of the building in the sun. Oh, Miss Letter, now listen, you had to add 20 degrees for all this fur you see right here, and that makes it 110 doggy degrees. Burger Mance, Miss Letter. Howdy. Hey, how about that telegram from the sheriff in Dripping Springs? Did yes, come in? sir, right here, sheriff. Well, it looks like I'll be going to Dripping Springs County. Listen, if anybody happens to stop by here wondering where I am, you tell them. Looks like you got your work cut out for you. Well, I'm afraid it's a whole bunch of them. The entire Doolin gang. Did he say the Doolin gang? Gosh, Bill, gosh, Bill, wait. Did you say the Doolin Gang? Well, yeah, that's right. They're down in Dripping Springs County. Gosh, Bill, why do you want to go down to Dripping Springs? That's out of your jurisdiction. Now, listen, the sheriff's in trouble down there, and I'm going to help him out. But, Gosh, Bill, the Doolin Gang, it's dangerous. You know, you're risking your life. Now, listen here. I gave that sheriff my word that if the Doolin Gang ever came into his county, I'd help him. He promised me the same thing. Now, listen, Barker Mass, I owe it to that man to keep my word, and that's what I'm going to do, danger or not. It doesn't make any sense why he wants to risk his life. I don't understand it. Oh, Jane! Ready for school? Boy, that's a dumb question. I'm never ready for school, but I have to go anyway. Well, you do have to go, and you ought to cheer up. It's the last day. Yeah, the last day of school. Boy, I can hardly wait. Hark, the old angel shout. I'm so glad that school is out. You shouldn't sing things like that. Well, Jeannie, if you hate school, you can't help but sing like that. And I hate school. But I thought you said you liked it a couple of months ago. I like it clothes. That's how I like it. But I sure don't like school. Well, I guess it's not that I don't like school. It's just the principle of the thing. That's because you're always having to go to his office. Well, not all the time. Just about every other day. Now, listen, Mom is going to a church meeting today, and she won't be home when we get home from school. So? One of us has to take the house key. Who's going to be home first? Well, uh, I probably will. Well, then you take the key. All right. But you got to let me in when you get home. Well, what's it worth to you, Jeannie? Now, wait a minute here. You can't bribe me. If you bribe me, I'll take the key. Oh, I'll be home before you do. Well, I have a Girl Scout meeting, and you better be here. I don't want to wait outside. I want you to have the door all unlocked by the time I get home. Jeannie, you have my word. I don't understand what was going through my mind to get me into all this mess. Well, what mess? I promised Nicodemus while he's gone this week that I'd take over his jobs down at the livery stable. Well, I think that's just real sweet of you. Nicodemus will really appreciate it. No, uh he won't appreciate it at all. Well, why not? Because I'm going to quit. You can't quit. Didn't you give him your word? Yeah, but this job's more than I thought it was. It's really hard work. It's taking up all my extra time. You know, I could be fishing, I could be swimming, I could do a million other things. But didn't you give your word? Yeah, but... I mean, 
Bartimaeus. Oh, Miss Letta, don't tell me the same thing that Gospel Bill did. I believe you know exactly what you ought to be doing. Oh, you're right. I better get out to the livery stable. Oh, it's too hot. It's not worth it. Too hot out here. Oh, all right. Hey, Bart. What? What? Want to go swimming down in the swimming hole? Swimming? Oh, I can see it now. Oh, that cool, refreshing water. It would be great. I would just love to do it. Oh, no. But I've got all this work to do. Oh, I want to go swimming, but I've got all this work to do. Oh, I can't go. You sure you don't want to go swimming? Oh, it should cool me off. Oh, no, I can't go. All right, have it your way. Come on, guys. It's just not worth it. All this hard work, and I miss going swimming. Well, howdy, Miss Lana. Well, hello, Mr. Gilbert. May I help you? No, I just wanted to get a better vantage point to see what Barkamaeus is doing over there. Well, he's doing a mighty fine job. Yes, I believe you're correct. And if he keeps it up, there's a bonus for him, too. Really? Oh, me. Not even halfway through. This is terrible. And it's getting hotter by the minute. Oh, me. Oh, oh. Hey, Barkamaeus. Yeah, yeah. You want to go fishing? 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 Oh, boy! Fishing! I can see it now! Fishy, fishy in the brook! I take my pole, and I cast that line out there on that water, and it's there, and all of a sudden, the big granddaddy fish of them all gets on my hook, and I pull him in, and then I take him, and then I take him, and I fry him, and I have the biggest fish fry I've ever had! Oh, it'd be great! It'd be great! Oh, but, but, I got all this work to do! Oh! I can't go fishing, no. I hear they're biting. Really? Yeah, real big ones. Oh, no, the biggies are biting. Oh, no, I want to go fishing. Wait a minute, I got an idea. Why don't you, you stay here and help me. Why don't you, you stay here, and then you, we'll get it all done, and then I'll go with you. Come on, oh, that's yeah. a good idea. Uh, no. Oh, oh, no, I'm missing life's greatest moments. Oh. Oh. Well, what is it, man? Well, the servants are finished working on your house, King Solomon, and I just wondered if you wanted me to give the order to pay them from the royal treasury. Yes, go ahead and pay them. Give each man uh, 20 shekels of silver. 20 shekels of silver? That's a lot of money, King. You could get the work done for half that much. I don't care. When I hired those men, I told them I would pay each one of them 20 shekels of silver, and I keep my word. All right, King, as you wish. It's going to cost you, but you do keep your word. That's right, always. I'll see that the job is done right away, sir. You know, it's important to keep your word. Keeping your word is a very, very important thing. Why, people know you by your word. If you're always making promises that you never keep, no one will ever trust you again. It's important to keep your word. It really is. The Bible tells us that we're to be like God. And God never breaks his promises. When he says he'll do something, he always does it. So that's the way we should be. We should be careful of what we promise to do. And if we make a promise, always carry it through. And that's how I've learned to be very, very wise in my kingdom. I always keep my word, and it pays off. Oh, me. There we go. I'm so tired of this. Oh. Bye, come in. Hey, coach, what's up? Well, I've got some bad news for you, Buck. What? We've got a double-header makeup game this afternoon with the Silver City Slubs. Oh, those low-down, no-good-for-nothing Silver City Slubs. Ugh. That's right, Bach, and we need you. I know it, Coach. I know it. You want me to be the pitcher. No, you want me to be the catcher. I know it. You want me to hit a home run for you. No, third base. Third base? I've never played third base. We don't want you to play third base. We want you to be third base. What? <laughs> oh, now that's not even funny. Okay, Bach, I'm sorry. All kidding aside, we need you. I know it. You need me. I can hear it now. The crowds are roaring in the stands. They're yelling, Barkabeus. And I take my bat, and I step up to the plate, and I get ready. And then, and then there's a pitch, and he swings, and the ball's up, up, and it's over the fence. It's a home run. And then There won't be any crowds. We're gonna be 20 miles outside of town. Oh, no crowds, oh, no. Oh, all this work to do, too. Oh, Coach, I just can't go. I got too much work to do. I'm sorry, but you know, who are you gonna get to replace me, the one, the only, the amazing Barkabeus? 
Well, let me go see if Miss Lana's busy. Oh, no, Miss Lana. Oh, no, here I missed my chance to be a superstar. Oh. That Bartimaeus is just something else. Oh, what do you mean, Mr. Gilbert? Well, I've been watching him all day, and he's turned down an opportunity to go fishing, to go swimming, and even to play baseball. He is very diligent. And, Miss Lena, I have got to be going. I can't stay. But would you mind giving this to Bartimaeus when he's finished? Well, I sure will. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Oh, me. Finally through. Golly. I'm kind of tired. Oh, 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 let me rest here a minute. Bartimaeus, Bartimaeus? Oh, 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 gosh, Hey, looks like you oh. finished here. You did a good job. Oh. Yeah. Hey, gosh, I didn't go down Jimmy Strings. Did you get those outlaws? Are, are you okay? Everything okay? Everything's fine. Come on over to the jail and I'll tell you about it. Oh. Gosh, how many were there? Was it dangerous? How did it go? Did, when did you catch them? How many? What? When? Where? Why? Now, you know that narrow canyon just before you get to Dripping Springs? Yep, I sure do, Gosh, Bill. Where those outlaws got perched right up on top of a hill, and they were going to rob the stagecoach as soon as it came down the road. Oh, my goodness. But because there was both of us, me and the sheriff of Dripping Springs, we were able to surround them. See, we got on both sides of them, and before they could do anything, we shut them down and captured all three of them. Boy, that's great, Gosh, Bill. I'm sure glad you went down there and did that. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm glad I kept my word. It was dangerous, but it paid off. We caught all three of those outlaws, and my friend the sheriff didn't get hurt in any way that's great hey i'm glad you kept your word i looked at that livery stable a while ago and saw that you did a great job nicodemus is going to be proud of you i know i am gosh Bill, i did all that hard work and it was for nothing it got me absolutely nothing you know gosh Bill, i could have gone swimming i could have gone fishing i could have even played baseball but no i kept my word cleaned that messy livery stable up and what did it get me nothing at least you caught those outlaws now, now listen here, you did too get something by keeping your word to Nicodemus. What? We well, have his confidence and everybody else's for that matter. You don't want to be known as someone who never keeps his word. Well, Barkamas, it's no small thing what you did. And besides all that, I'm going to buy you some lemonade at Miss Lana's General Store. Come on. Gosh, Bill, that's the only thing I got out of cleaning up that livery stable. Hey, you better have a lot of money, because I can drink a whole pitcher of lemonade. Jeannie? Jeannie, are you here? Good. <laughs> she didn't come home yet. Well, now she won't be mad at me for staying a little longer after school and playing baseball. Oh, boy. For a minute, I thought she might already be here, and I knew she would really be mad at me. What makes you think I'm not mad at you? Well, uh, Jeannie, well, you just got home. No, I didn't just got home. I got home a long while ago. But uh, you weren't here when I got here. I know, because I had to go over to Miss Stevens' house and wait till you got here. You promised me you were going to be the first one home. Well, I, oh, I meant to, Jeannie. I, I really did. I meant to be the first one home. But you weren't here when I got done from Girl Scouts. You had a whole hour to beat me home. Well, Jeannie, I sort of got mixed up in this uh, baseball game, you know? Well, uh, well, I just couldn't turn it down. You gave me your word, Eugene. Well, I know, but you got to understand, Jeannie. I mean, some things are more important than keeping your word, like playing baseball. They even let me play shortstop, Jeannie. I even got a home run. That doesn't matter, Eugene. You told me you would be here before I got home. Well, I told you, Jeannie, sometimes you just can't keep your word. Well, you're supposed to keep your word all the time. You know what? If you don't keep your word, then you become a liar. Well, I'm not a liar. I didn't tell you a lie. I mean, well, I, well, I sort of did, didn't I? You sort of did. Not keeping your word is the same as telling a lie. Boy, when that's not so good, is it? No, it's not good at all. What do you think I should do? Well, the first thing you need to do is ask God to forgive you, and then you could apologize to me. Well, I can handle the first part, but, uh, okay. I'm sorry, Jeannie. All right, but from now on, keep your word. And Miss Lana, I want you to get out some of that ice-cold lemonade, and I'll have a glass. And I'll have a pitcher full, Miss Lana. Well, before you do that, Barkamash, you better have a look at this. Uh, 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 who, who's this from? Jack Gilbert left it here for you. Gosh, look, it's got a lot of money in it. Look. 
Well, this better than $10 in here. My goodness. Oh, what's it for? He was really happy with the job you did at the livery stable. Oh, oh, this is great. I, I can't believe it almost. He gave me more than $10. Yeah, now I bet you're really glad you kept your word now. Oh, gosh, Bill, I sure am. I kept my word and look what happened. I got rewarded. Gosh, Bill, lemonade's on me. You know, the scriptures tell us that we're supposed to be like God. God wants you to try to act like Him. And He wouldn't tell you to do that if you couldn't do it. We can do it because He can help us. Now, there's one thing about God that we need to learn. God never breaks His word. If God says He's going to do something, He always does it. He never breaks a promise. Now, we need to learn something from the Lord. We need to keep our word just like God keeps His word. You see, we trust in God and have confidence in Him because He never breaks His word. Well, other people will have confidence in you if you never break your word. But if you begin to say things that you don't do and make promises that you don't keep, pretty soon other people will lose their confidence in you. So if you break your word, you destroy other people's confidence. And it's a very important thing to keep the confidence of other people. Wouldn't it be terrible if every time you said something, everybody around you said, sure, we'll see. You said that the last time, but you probably won't do it. Well, that's a bad thing. It's important to say what you mean to do and then follow through on it. Don't make a promise that you can't keep. So the next time you start to make a promise to someone, stop and think, am I really going to be able to do this? And if you can't do it, then don't promise someone else that you can. Because when you break your word, you also break other people's confidence in you. So don't destroy others' confidence. Keep your word.
Did you know that that blood of Jesus is the only thing that can wash the sin away from a human heart? You see, when a person sins, the sin comes and gets inside them. You see, sin is more than just something that you do. It's something that happens on the inside of your heart. It's like a sickness, only this sickness affects your spirit, not your body. You see, when you get leprosy or cancer or arthritis or something like that in your body, your body gets weak. It isn't natural anymore. It isn't normal anymore because it has this terrible disease. Well, that's the same thing that happens when sin gets into your spirit. Sin makes your spirit weak, and it hurts your spirit. But there's one thing that can heal your heart. One thing can wash that sin away. It's the precious blood of Jesus. And when you ask Jesus to come into your heart to be your Savior, He comes inside and He brings His blood and He washes your sin away. So if you haven't already, ask Jesus to come into your heart. He can make your spirit whole.